So, hello everyone. So, in the last video, I asked you guys to send some send your team in my Instagram account, and uh, some of you did. And here I am with those uh, teams, and I'm here to react on it. And uh, before I start the video, uh, uh, I'm going to tell you that it's your team after all. You can do whatever you want with it. You can bring any player you want. Instinct plays a huge role in FPL and lock too. So I'm I'm no expert. I'm just I'm just a guy who loves football. I'm just here to share my opinion on your teams and see how people are doing. So yeah, before I start the video, I also request you guys to please subscribe the channel if you love the content. Because a lot of you have been watching the content but uh, you are not subscribed to it. A subscription would help a lot and like it too if you like the video. So yeah, let's start. So this is one of the team uh, that I got in my DM. And uh, this was an interesting team. Uh, firstly, I think the Lamptey and Ryan are the substitutions for McCarthy and Walkers uh, in uh, second game week. And in my opinion, that's not a bad move. Now, I used to just go with one premium keeper uh, when I used to play. and uh, But uh, the circumstance, circumstances are different now. Uh, there is Corona and injuries are um, always a mere threat. So I think to have a strong bench is one of the most important part in FPL right now because any player could uh, you know test positive for corona and he might be out for the game so I think uh, going for a strong bench is a good option uh, right now in FPL now another thing that caught my eye was Antonio so uh, I was thinking of Antonio too because because he has a very good uh, uh, match in the first game week but from second game week it looks kind of terrible and uh, second game week might also be a good one uh, for West Ham against Arsenal uh, if Arsenal continue that same um, bad defensive form like last season but I don't think that will happen I do think uh, Arsenal defense will be far far better this season because of the new signings and uh, Antonio is a good one week punt and maybe for second too if Arsenal don't perform well but uh, I think uh, it's not a long term option and if you are thinking of switching Antonio to maybe Mitrovic in the second game week or something, uh, it's a uh, very good idea. But I think after the second game week, your transfer should mainly focus on uh, the Manchester United or Manchester City players, because uh, they uh, they are, they blanked in first game week, so there will be a second. Uh, I mean, uh, the double game week for those players soon. I don't know when, but definitely soon. And. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, Antonio is a good one-week punt, but he's not a long-term uh, solution. And another player that I was looking for is Anguisha. So I don't know, a lot of people have Anguisha in the bench. Uh, there might be something I don't know about him, but I did look for his stats. So he's not a starter. He, he doesn't have that incredible stat or anything. So I don't know why people are going for Anguisha. So I saw Andy picking Anguisha in that... Uh, his latest draft so that might have influenced some people to go for Anguisha so if there's something I need to know about Anguisha please uh, do write in the comment section now another player is Egan so he's a 5 million and he's a center back and uh, in that 5 million price range there are players like Bellerin and James and uh, so uh, uh, Henderson has left uh, Sheffield United and uh, I think Mm, he was a big part of what uh, Sheffield achieved last season but Ramsdale, Ramsdale isn't that bad of an option too so Egan is one of the players I'm looking at too so he's not bad, that bad of an option uh, if they perform well the first game is against Wolves and the, these uh, fixtures are also uh, pretty reliable and uh, in the favor of uh, Sheffield United so I think Egan is a good choice too so overall this is a very good team and uh, if players like Doherty, Warner, they play full minutes and they start, um, then this is a very good team. Uh, this can uh, produce a good uh, game week points uh, if it if it has a good day. So moving on to next team, the second team uh, was uh, sent in by a Man United fan. Here, the two players I was uh, I want to talk about is uh, Pickford and Digne. So if you see my uh, video that I released at the very first when Fixtures was released, I talked about how Everton players uh, could be a uh, very uh, cheap and reliable uh, players to go for because uh, I think they have very good uh, mm, uh, fixtures and uh, I didn't know much about Everton back then so 
I did ask some uh, fans, Everton fans, to do comment if they had any any knowledge about what's going on in Everton, and this was one of the comment by an Everton fan, and so I think he's pretty much right. And uh, Everton are signing new uh, midfielders. Uh, Hamiz Rodriguez is in, and so Allen might be in, Dockery might be in soon. So we don't know about that, but I think uh, the players, uh, if Everton are a good squad, I think I would be going for Richarlison or. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Calvert Lewin, and so he has gone for Pickford and Digne, which is a very bold choice, I think. And uh, so, yeah, first, so I don't want to be jumping on on Everton players. You can if you want to, but I, I personally won't for now, because I think there are a lot of good players in the cheaper value. So I think uh, spending on uh, six million on Digne or uh, six million on Mitrovic, I think I would easily go for Mitrovic. So. That's a no-brainer right now, and, uh, and another thing is, if this thing works out uh, as a punt, uh, like it could change your rank uh, very rapidly and very for your benefit. To be honest, if Pickford and Dinia performs well, particularly not a bad choice, but uh, I'd want to wait on uh, Everton players. I, I want to see how they start the season um, before uh, picking the uh, Everton players. Now, players like Aubameyang, Salah. Uh, Justin Vardy, these are I think uh, mostly picked players, so I don't need to talk about them. And uh, the another player I would want to talk about is Bellerin. As I said, uh, I think for five million, a fullback is a very good choice. And uh, the first opening two fixtures look very decent for the Arsenal team, and uh, I do think they will have a better defensive uh, performance this season. And uh, so yeah, Bellerin and James are two of the two players that I'm looking for in right now because they I think. They are a good value for the the price we are spending, and the another player is Davis. So yeah, and now the thing about Davis is he's not a starter. I've already said in one of my video he's not a starter. But if any Aston Villa striker or attacker gets injured, I think Davis would be the one to step up at the uh, in the first uh, in the first place because because uh, because of the team depth and he was uh, pretty uh, active um, in the. Uh, after pandemic restart, he did play in the final against uh, Man. It, I mean, he did not start, but he did come off the bench in final against Man City, and he did come off in uh, multiple occasions last season. So yeah, uh, Davis might not be that bad of a choice. So in the 4.5 price range, the attacker I'm looking for is uh, Brewster. Uh, if he gets loaned out, I think he's a very good option. And again, he has Egan too. So my only thing is he's a centre back. And for five million, if you could get fullbacks like Bellerin or James, I think I would rather spend money on them than a centre back. So yeah, you could save save some money over there. And uh, this uh, this looks like a, a decent team and could rack up some points. Now another thing is I'm kind of having second thought about Justin because I looked at their uh, defensive players in FPL and most of them look injured. Most of the starting players look injured, and uh, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick Justin. I might too for that 4.5 value. I think uh, he's a good one because the fixtures are decent too. So Justin is one of them. I'm like in between. And the other player is St. Maximin. Uh, Newcastle seems like uh, they are in need of help. They are in crisis. And uh, Maximin might be one of the players to help. So he could be a one-man army. And uh, so he might not be that bad of an option, but still, uh, looking at the Newcastle fans' reactions, uh, it kind of puts off, it kind of <laughs> makes you think twice before going for said maximum. So moving on to another team, this was uh, sent to, sent by an Arsenal fan. So, and there was a uh, triple up Spurs players, and uh, you can make your mind up how Arsenal see their uh, rivals. But sentiment don't play part in FPL, so uh, I might be tripling up on Spurs too because their fixtures are very good. So about Loris, and uh, so Joe Hart is in right now. So and uh, Loris played uh, in uh, two of the preseason match, and uh, Joe Hart played in one. I'm pretty sure Loris will be the one who is gonna start, and uh, there will be games coming thick and fast uh, uh, in this season. So there might be some rotations. I'm not sure. And about the injury and COVID, I've already talked about that. If you are happy with this team, I think this is a very decent team. But if you need to save some money, I think you can save the money from Loris. And uh, about Justin, I think uh, 
Justin is in bench uh, for Vinagre in the second game week, according to me. And in the teams I got in my DM, uh, almost, I mean, most of the team had Mount in it. And I think the main reason for this is because of the of his price range, because there is no good player in the uh, range of eight million. So if you want to go for Jaik, I think he's one of them. But I don't know if he'll start because he got injured. The other other eight millions are. Pogba, Ali, William, Pepe, and we're just not sure who's going to start, who's going to play where, and uh, it might be uh, Pepe or it might be William in that starting lineup of Arsenal, and we don't know about Ali, but I'm pretty sure Ali will start, but still there are uh, Lucas Mora, Sesson Young, and Bergwin in that team too, so the main reason for people going for Mount is because we know how how much Lampard loves Mount, and I think he will be starting most of the games. So yeah, uh, Mount seems like a justifiable choice, and uh, the other player is Adams. So uh, I did see one of the stats where uh, I saw that when uh, Ad- Adams and Ings play, they they have maximum number of goals and assists. So it means they mm, complement each other. So if they do start, I think Ings and Adams are a very good choice for the fixtures they have. And uh, the thing is, uh, there is Obafemi, there is Bowful, there is uh, even Shane Long, so uh, there is too many uh, starting options for uh, Southampton. And uh, I looked at the team, and no one is injured, no one is like missing from the team. Their team looks spot on, and their preseason looks to be going good. So I think uh, Southampton are one of the teams that uh, we should be eyeing on this season. And they they ended last season in 11th position, so they might push hard for even higher position this time. So for the cheaper price, if we are getting such good players, I think we should have hands on them. So all in all, I don't think there is uh, anything wrong with this team. Uh, if you want to save some budget, I think you could save it from low risk. And uh, I'm not sure if James is the nylon player, so you might want to look at that. Uh, James and Adams. So except for that, I think this is a very decent team. So now moving on to another theme. So. <laughs> This team was sent in by an Arsenal fan too, and he had a triple up Spurs players. <laughs> and uh, so I think oh, I, I'm not the only one who thinks tripling up on uh, Spurs players is a good idea. But uh, the main thing is uh, we don't know how Kane is going to perform because he has not he has not been playing pre seasons. I think they still have one uh, pre season game left. I do think he will feature in that, but. Uh, and I'm not sure if Doherty will start right away. And uh, I don't even know if he will fit in the system. I hope he does. He's a quality player. And uh, I think uh, if Z- in my team, Zayk won't start or Zayk is not an option, then Keane is one of the players I will try and get. So uh, I think uh, tripling up Spurs players is not um, not an unpopular opinion now I think because I've seen in a lot of team and myself I think uh, I will be tripling on or uh, up on Spurs players but the other other thing that uh, caught my eye in this team was Burrs so I don't know why Burrs is there he's 5 million so I tried and looked at his stats there's nothing uh, anything special about him because he has not been starting I think he only had about 800 to 900 minutes last season and uh, my Main uh, suggestion is you might want to go for either Suchek or even just 4.5 uh, midfielder who might play like Stephens, and so you can save 0.5 in that uh, spot. I have no idea why Burrs is here. Uh, Burrs looks like a likes like one of the only uh, red flag in this team. And again, in this team too, there was Anguisha. I don't know why Anguisha is there. Uh, there might be other players who might be like uh, Oriel Romero. He might he might be a uh, starter in that Southampton team. So he has also gone for Mane instead of Salah. Might be a kind of differential, but uh, Trent is an obvious pick. So Mitrovic, I think he plays all the minutes. He takes penalty for that six million price. After uh, after the first game week, I think he's a decent choice. And another pick is Tierney. So I do think uh, Arsenal defense will do good and first two game against Fulham. I think uh, it would be a good chance for uh, uh, Arsenal to show how they have improved defensively 
um, as I said earlier, they have signed new players. I think that will change a lot in the dimension of Arsenal team. Uh, in a good day, I think this team will stack up a lot of points. So, one of the players I would recommend would be Ings. If you want to save some money, I think uh, Ings in for Kane might be a good option or might just try and shuffle around. Um, uh, Doherty, I'm not sure. Uh, you might go for Dyer or Davis if you want to go for a Spurs uh, defender. And uh, you can save uh, 1 million over there too. And we all have a lot of big expectation from Walker Peters this season. And the thing I like about this team is the uh, midfield. There, there are three big players like Mane, Aubameyang and Son. So switching, uh, switching on to uh, maybe Man City and Man United uh, assets would be very easy. And even uh, jumping into Martial would be easy if you remove Kane. So uh, diving into uh, De Bruyne or Bruno Fernandes, taking off Aubameyang or Mane or Son, I think this is a very flexible team. And uh, yeah, so in a good day, I think this team is will stack up a lot of points. The only uh, red flag is Burrs, in my opinion. Uh, you could either go for a 4.5 million um, midfielder uh, or maybe go for Suchek who is 5 million too and will start. So yeah, but as the season progresses, I think there will be more 4.0 defenders will know who will play and who will be in the starting lineup. I think uh, the cheaper assets will prevail. So for now, uh, going for Douglas or Johnson or Ferguson, I think it's your kind of pick. You just take one of them because we're not sure who will start. Uh, some of them are pretty sure Ferguson will start for Palace, but he's injured right now. And some of them are sure that uh, Johnson will start for West Ham United. But there is Fredericks. We don't know if he will be the starter. So, yeah. So, I think this is a pretty decent team. But uh, I think Burrs is the one you should be taking off. And uh, triple up on uh, Spurs does not look that bad if they perform well. But if they don't, I think it will backfire um, and will hurt your rank massively. So, yeah. Let's move on to the other team. So, this is the last team we are talking about. And uh, this was the only team with Pereira. Uh, I'll dive straight into it. So it does look like a good differential choice. But I'd want to wait for uh, Pereira right now. And uh, the fixtures are good for uh, West Brom too. They face Chelsea in the third game week. So yeah, Pereira is particularly not a bad idea. I don't have uh, a lot of much knowledge about him because I've you know, honestly never seen him, seen him play. And I don't know how he'll perform in the Premier League. So I'd rather want to wait. But if, if he uh, starts performing from the first game week, I think he's a steal for that 6 million price. And uh, the whole team is uh, not anything, there's nothing like uh, groundbreaking or there's nothing like uh, too much of differentials. These are some obvious picks, the McCarthy and the Vinagra, Justin, uh, Alexander, uh, Trent. These are, I think, uh, are the players that a lot of uh, managers have. And... Uh, one player is uh, I want to talk about is Eiling. Now, I'm particularly not sure why he picked Eiling. Because, uh, uh, firstly, it's not just about that uh, they are playing in the uh, Premier League. Uh, this is not championship. Uh, the thing is, the fixtures of Leeds seems to be very difficult. And according to the Leeds fan, uh, they are pretty confident about their defense. The, I think they have, a, according to them, the, their defensive uh, performance is something that they are proud of. So, I think... There's a catch to that, and uh, but the starting um, fixtures uh, is against Liverpool, and they face against Sheffield, and they again face Man City. So I think I don't think that is a good lineup of fixtures. So I'd kind of wait for the uh, Leeds defenders, I guess. So uh, you could uh, go for other players uh, in that price point, and uh, I have no problem with Susek being in the bench because I think uh, in the first I would uh, I mean I would even play him in the first game because. Uh, he has been performing well in the preseason too, and for the five million price, I think he's a good player. And uh, the thing is, the after the f uh, first game week, uh, as I've already said, Susik does not have a good uh, fixture, so I don't think he's a long-term option. But a one-week punt is a great choice for Susik. The thing is, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, really sold on Warner yet. I'm, I mean, yeah, he did start in the preseason. He scored in four minutes and all that stuff. But still, I'd want to see something more from him. I'd, I'd want to wait. Uh, I want to make that uh, he's a starter of that team. Uh, he's playing uh, more minutes than Giroud and Tammy Abraham. So, um, since Kai uh, Havers is in two, and uh, I think if Jaik is injured, I think uh, going for Warner is a good choice because 
you at least need to have one Chelsea player looking at their attack and their fixtures. So Warner and Zayk are the players you should be looking at if Warner starts every game uh, ahead of uh, Giroud and Tammy. And uh, I don't see anything wrong in this team whatsoever. I think this is a brilliant team. Uh, I think it could uh, rack up a lot of points. As I said earlier, I'm just here to share my opinions. It's your team after all. You can bring in any player you want. You can take off any player you want. So as we are nearing the first kickoff of this season, I'll be coming out with some more contents if possible. And, uh, and uh, if you guys are uh, enjoying the videos, the content I put out, please do like it and please do subscribe it. If not, please write in the comment section uh, what would you want to see from me and uh, yeah, what I need to improve on. So yeah, for, for now I think this is pretty much it and thank you for your uh, teams. Thank you for sending in the teams. The Instagram link is below if, uh, if you want to have some one-to-one -one talk. Uh, as I've said, I'm not an expert. I just love football. I love talking about it. So yeah, for now, bye-bye.